Hail and welcome, friends. This is a new series. With the world being in such a state from, uh, you know, COVID and everything, sometimes people cannot come together to worship the old gods and do the things that we do as modern-day pagans. Well, Raven Temple of CX Wicca is figuring a way that we can share this with you and with our temple members and others around the world. So today, what we want to do is we want to start out by sharing with you the Havamal. And we're going to go through the whole thing. So I appreciate you all and sit back. And this is Havamal Sayings of Har, translated by James Allen Chisholm. Excerpted from the Eddas, Keys to the Mysteries of the North, and published by the Troth. Havamal stands a one. Watch out and check all gates before faring forth. One should spy around. One should pry around. Hard to know what foe sits before you in the next room. Stands a two. Hail the givers, a guest has come. Where shall he sit? Hard pressed is he. Who test his luck by the fire. Stands a three. Fire is needful for those who arrive with cold knees. Food and clothing is needful to men who have fared over the fells. Stands a four. Water is needful for he who comes for a meal. Drying and friendly words as well. And if he can get them, kindness, good words, and welcome again. Stands a five. Wits are needful to he who travels far. The dull should stay home. He will be mocked who cannot sit with sages. Stands a six. Let a man not be boastful about his wisdom, but watchful instead. The wise and silent and s are seldom harmed when wary in the hall. A more trustworthy friend a man cannot have than understanding. Stands a seven. The wary guest who comes to the feast listens in silence, casts his eyes about, and pricks up his ears. Thus the wise ward their ways. Stanza 8. Happy is he who gets praise, and knows liking staves he has it hard. Who must get these things by the help of another? Stanza 9. Happy is he who gets praise, and has wit throughout his life. A man often gets evil counsel from the heart of another. Stanza 10. A man bears no better burden on the wilderness ways than great wisdom. It will prove better than wealth in an unknown homestead. Stanza 11. A man, a man bears no better burden when on the wilderness ways than great wisdom. One can have no worse fare on road or field than too much ale. Stanza 12. Ale is not so good as they say for the sons of men. A man's mind knows less the more he drinks. Stanza 13. The heron is called mindlessness, who hovers over men, stealing, stealing their minds. I was bound by that fowl's feathers when I was in Gunliff's Garth. Stanza 14. I became drunk, roaring drunk, with wise Jalar. The best wassail is that which a man leaves with his wits. Stanza 15. Silent and attentive and battle bold should a chieftain's son be. A man should be glad and happy until defeated by death. Stanza 16. The unwise man thinks he will live forever by avoiding battle, but old age will give him no rest though he spared from spears. Stanza 17. The fool gapes when among the folk. He mutters and mopes, and soon it is seen when he gets drunk what his mind is like. Stanza 18. He alone knows who has wandered widely and has fared over the fells, what mind stirs in each man if he himself has wits. Stanza 19. A man should not refrain, form the cup, though he drink mead in the hoff, let him say what is needful or be silent. No man shall call you ignorant if you go to bed early. Stanza 20. The greedy man without mind's wits eats himself in sorrow. 
Often he brings ridicule, ridicule on himself when he is among wise men who mock the man's belly. Stanza 21. The herd knows when to go home and leave the grazing ground behind. The unwise man never knows how much to eat. Stanza 22. Ill-tempered the wretch who laughs at everyone. He cannot recognize as he should that he is not without faults. Stanza 23. The stupid man lies awake all night and thinks about everything and is tired in the morning, though all is as it was. Stanza 24. The stupid man thinks that all who laugh at him are friends. He does not notice how the talk goes when he sits with wise men. Stanza 25. The unwise man thinks that all who laugh at him are friends, but when he is at the thing, he finds few spokesmen. Stanza 26. The stupid man thinks he knows all when he is at home, but he does not know what to say when men test him. Stanza 27. When the fool fares among folk, it is best he stay quiet. No one knows that he knows nothing unless he talks too much. Stanza 28. Why seems he who knows how to ask an answer? What goes about among men cannot be hidden from men. Stanza 29. He who never shuts up blathers powerless staves. The speedy tongue that never stops often brings itself harm. Stanza 30. Do not ridicule another man, though he is kin. He oft seems wise who has not questions, and leaves dry-skinned. Stanza 31 He is wise who leaves the flitting, when guest mocks guest. He who grins at the feast does not know that he chatters among foes. Stanza 32 Many a man is being friendly when he teases at the table. There is always strife when guest clashes with guest. Stanza 33. A man should often get his meal early when he visits friends. Otherwise, he sits in idols, eats like he were starving without even asking. Stanza 34. It is a long way to the false friend, though he dwell by the road. But a straight way lies to the good friend, though he lives far away. Stanza 35. Then the guest should go. He should not stay too long in one stead. When one stays too long in another's house, love turns to loathing. Stanza 36. One's home is better, though it be small, to each home is hall. Though he owns but two goats and a thatched roof, it is better than begging. Stanza 37. One's own home is best, though it is small. To each home is hall, his heart will bleed, who has to ask for each meal's meat. Stanza 38. A man should not step one foot forth in the field without weapons. One cannot know when on the road when he will need his spear. Stanza 39. I never found a generous man who was so free with his food that he would turn it down, or so generous as to loathe a gift were it to be given. Stanza 40. One should not have too much need of the goods he has gotten. One often squanders on enemies what was intended for loved ones. Many affairs go awry. Stanza 41. Friends should share joy in weapons and clothes that are evident to one another. Those who share gifts to stay the fastest friends when things go well. Stanza 42. A man shall ever be a friend to his friends. And give gift for gift, laughter for laughter, but give lies for lies. Stanza 43. A man shall always be a friend to friends, and to the friend of a friend, but never a friend to a friend's enemies. Stanza 44. If you know that you have a good friend, and that he is true, and that you will get good from him, share your mind with him, exchange gifts, and visit him often. Stanza 45. If you know another and trust him not, and you want to get good from him, speak fair to him while thinking falsely, and give him lies for lies. Stanza 46. 
If you do not trust a man, and he speaks his mind with you, laugh with him, but speak not your mind, and deal fitting rewards for his gifts. Stanza 47 When I was young, I once traveled alone and lost my way. I thought myself rich when I found another. Man rejoices in man. Stanza 48 He who gives gladly lives the best life, and seldom has sorrow. But the unwise suspect all, and always pine for gifts. Stanza 49 I gave my clothes to two tree men in the field. Men they seem with clothes, shameful the naked hero. Stanza 50 The young fir tree dies that stands sheltered by neither bark nor needle in the field. Such is a man whom none love. Why should such a man live longer? Stanza 51 Hotter than fire friendship burns for five days between false friends, but it slackens on the sixth, and the friendship goes awry. Stanza 52 Give not great gifts. Give not great gifts you can win praise with little. Half a loaf and half a cuff. cup won me fellowship. Stanza 53 A small lake has a little sand. The minds of men are small, and not all men are equally wise. No man is whole. Stanza 54 Middle wise should each man be, and not over wise. The fairest life is had by the one who knows many things well. Stanza 55 Middle wise should each man be, and not over wise. A wise man's heart is seldom glad when he has gotten himself great wisdom. Stanza 56. Middle wise should each man be, and not over wise. He who knows not his orlog may sleep untroubled. Stanza 57. Brand burns brand, and so is burned. Fire is kindled from fire. A man is known by his talk, and the dull man is known by his nonsense. Stanza 58. He should rise early who wants to take the life or property of another. Seldom does the lying wolf get the lamb or the sleeping man victory. Stanza 59. He should rise early who has few workers to seek his work himself. He loses much who sleeps in the morning. Half of wealth is gotten by initiative. Stanza, six, stanza 60. Dry firewood and birch bark for roofing. A man can measure for wood to last in the wintertime. Stanza 61. Well fed and washed fair to the thing. A man should ride to the thing, though his clothes are well worn. A man should not be ashamed of his shoes and breeks, or even less of his horse, though they are not the best. Stanza 62. The eagle snuffles and droops when he fares over the waves of the sea. So fares a man in a throng, where few will plead his case. Stanza 63. Each shall ask and answer who is wise and wishes to be called wise. Let none know, not even a second. All will know, if three know. Stanza 64. All who are wise and read shall not be overly forceful. He finds who walks among the stout that no one is the strongest. Stanza 65. Words spoken by one to another often bring an evil reward. Stanza 66 Far too early I, I arrived at many steads, but too late at others. The ale was already drunk or yet unbruised. The loath find little among the folk. Stanza 67 Here and there they had me in their homes. If I was not hungry for meat or hung two hams for the true friend, for the one I had eaten. Stanza 68. Fire is better for the sons of men than the sight of the sun. Good health also, if a man can keep it and live without shame. Stanza 69. A man is not entirely bereft through his health is poor. Some are blessed with sons, some by friends, some by wealth, and others by good works. Stanza 70. Better to be alive and happy. The quick always get the cattle, 
The fire burned for the wealthy man, but the dead man lays outside. Stanza 71. A halt man can ride a horse. The handless can be herdsman. The deaf can fight bravely. A blind man is better than a burned man, and a dead man is of no use. Stanza 72. Better to have a son, though born late, after the father has passed away. Stones seldom stand by the roads unless raised by kin for kin. Stanza 73. Two take on one. The tongue is the head's bane. I expect fists under every fur coat. Stanza 74. Night is joyful if provisions are adequate. The cabins of ships are cramped. Fall nights pass, and weather changes many times in five days, even more in a month. Stanza 75. He who knows nothing does not know that men become apes. One man is rich and another poor. There is no blame in that. Stanza 76. Cattle die, kinsmen die, and you yourself, yourself shall die. But fair fame never dies. For the one who wins it. Stanza 77. Cattle die and kinsmen die and you yourself shall die. But I know one that never dies. That is the doom of each one dead. Stanza 78. The storeroom of fit young sons were full. Now they bear the beggar's staff. Thus flies wealth in the twinkling of an eye. The falsest of friends. Stanza 79. The unwise man only grows arrogant when he wins himself wealth or a woman's love. His wisdom never increases, only his pride. Stanza 80. It is found when you ask the runes which are known to the region, made by the Ginrigan, drawn by Fimbothul, it is best to keep silent. Stanza 81. Praise the day and the evening a torch when it is burned, a sword when it is tried, a maid when married, ice when crossed, and ale when drunk. Stanza 82. Hew wood in the wind, row out to sea in good weather, play with a maid in the dark, for many are the eyes of the day. Look for speed in a ship, and for cover from a shield. Get a sword for hewing, and a maid for kissing. Stanza 83. Drink ale by the fire. Skate on the ice. Buy a lean steed and a rusty blade. Feed your horse at home and your hound at home. Stanza 84. Let no man trust a maiden's words, nor the talk of a woman, for their hearts were shaped on a spinning wheel, and falsehood lurks in their breasts. Stanza 85. A brittle bow, a burning fire. A grinning wolf, a singing crow. A grinting boar, a rootless tree. A swelling wave, a boiling kettle. Stanza 86. A flying arrow, a crashing wave. Night old ice, a coiled snake. A bride's bed talk, a broken sword. The play of bears, a king's son. Stanza 87. A sick cap, calf, an uppity thrall, the pleasant talk of a vulva, the fresh fallen warrior. Stanza 88. Early sown acres should no man trust, nor too soon a son. Weather ruins the acres and stupidity the sun. Each of these is a risk. Stanza 89. Your brother's slayer, though met on the road, a half-burned house, or too swift a horse, a steed is worthless if it breaks its own foot. One must not be so trusting as to trust in these. Stanza 90 Such is the love of a woman whose heart is false, like riding unshod horses over slippery ice, or poor, poorly trained two-year-olds, or drifting rudderless on heavy seas, or like a halt reindeer on a slippery fell. Stanza 91 I say this openly, for I know both. A man's heart is false with women. Our hearts are most false when our words roost fair, which deceive the hearts of the wise. 
stanza 92. He shall speak fairly and deal well, who will win a woman's love. Praise the looks of the bonny lass, win by wooing. Stanza 93. No man should ever ridicule another's love. The lure of a beautiful woman often snares the wise while leaving the fool. Stanza 94. A man should not heap abuse on another for something that happens to many men. Powerful love makes fool of heroes and sages. Stanza 95. Only your mind knows what is dearest to your heart. Each counsels himself. There is no worse illness for a sage than losing love for himself. Stanza 96. I found that out when I sat in the reeds and waited for my heart's delight. The heart and the body of the wise maid were dear to me, but I had not my will with her. Stanza 97. Billings' daughter I found on her bed, the sun-white maid slept, and a yarldom seemed nothing to me if I lived without her love. Stanza 98. Come back near evening, Odin. If you speak with me, it would be entirely unfitting unless only the two of us knew of this deed. Stanza 99. I went back thinking she loved me, but I was misled. I thought that I would have great pleasure in all her heart. Stanza 100. So I came the next night, and the warriors were all awake, bearing bright brands, their torches alight. I worked not my will. Stanza 101. Near morning I went in again, where the folk were asleep, but I found a bitch bound to the fair maid's bed. Stanza 102. Many a good maid proves false-hearted when you get to know her. I found that out when I lured the wise woman in lust. The clever maiden had sport of me with all manner of mockery, and I had not my way with her. Stanza 103. Glad in his household and cheerful with guests, and wise let a man be. He should be thoughtful and eloquent if he wants to be learned in lore and praised as such. The man who has little to say is deemed an idiot. That is the lot of fools. Stanza 104. The old Etten I sought, now I am back. I would have gotten little had I been silent. I spoke many words to work my will in Sutong's hall. Stanza 105. The auger bored and made me room, gnarled through stone, over and under were the Etten ways. Thus I risked my head. Stanza 106. Gunloff gave me, as I sat on her golden seat, a drink of the dear one mead. An evil reward I dealt her afterwards for her good will and her heavy heart. Stanza 107. Dear bought, I put it to good use, for the wise little is lacking. Othorir has been brought up to the Vey of the Gods. Stanza 108. I would hardly come out alive from the Garth of the Ettons had I not enjoyed the good woman Gunluth, in whose arms I lay. Stanza 109. The next day Rhyme Thursus strode out to ask Reed of Har in Har's Hall, asking about Volvark, whether he was among the gods or had been slain by Sutung. Stanza 110. I know that Odin swore an oath on a ring. How shall his troth be trusted? He robbed Sutung and took, took his symbol. The Gunloth he brought sorrow. Stanza 111. It is time to sing on the sage's seat at Earth's well. I saw and was silent. I watched and thought. I heard the speech of men, I heard talk of runes that were not silence at council. At Har's Hall, in Har's Hall, I heard them speak. Stanza 112. I give you read, Nol Rafir. Heed it well. You will use it if you learn it. It will get you good if you understand it. Do not rise at night except to spy or to find the outhouse. Stanza 113. I give you read, Lord Rafir. Heed it well. You will use it if you learn it. It will get you good if you understand it. Do not sleep in the arms of a woman skilled in black arts, such that she locks her limbs with yours. 
stanza 114. She will work it that you will not want to go to the thing or care about the talk of the folk. You will not want food or any pleasure, and you will seek your bed in sorrow. Stanza 115. I give you read, Lofafnir, heed it well. You will use it if you learn it. It will get you good if you understand it. Watch that you are not lured to bed by another's wife. Stanza 116. I give you read, Lofafnir, heed it well. You will use it if you learn it. It will get you good if you understand it. If you fare veil or fell or fjord, bring food. Stanza 117. I give you read, Lofafnir, heed it well. You will use it if you learn it. It will get you good if you understand it. Never tell your hardships to foemen, for you will never get a reward for your good wishes from evil men. Stanza 118. I saw a man sharply bitten by the ill words of a woman. Her false tongue brought his death, and her attacks were unjust. Stanza 119. I give you read, Lothafnir, heed it well. You will use it if you learn it. It will get you good if you understand it. If you have a true friend, fare to find him often. Shrubs and grass grow to cover the untrodden path. Stanza 120. I give you read, Lothrofnir, heed it well. You will use it if you learn it. It will get you good if you understand it. Draw a good man to yourself with staves of joy, and you will have healing songs while you live. Stanza 121. I give you read, Lothrofnir, heed it well. You will use it if you learn it, and it will get you good if you understand it. Never be the first to forsake a friend. Sorrow eats the heart of he who can no longer speak his mind to anyone. Stanza 122. I give you read, Lofafnir, heed it well. You will use it if you learn it. It will get you good if you understand it. Never bandy words with stupid apes. Stanza 123. You will never get any good from an evil man, but a good man will get you the love and goodwill of many. Stanza 124. When each can speak all his mind to the other, friendship is shared. Anything is better than fickleness. He is no friend whose words are always fair. Stanza 125. I give you read, Lothrofnir, heed it well. You will use it if you learn it. If It will do you good if you understand it. Bandy not three words with a lesser man. Often the better man fails when the worse gets hostile. Stanza 126. I give you read, Lofafnir, heed it well. You will use it if you learn it. It will get you good if you understand it. Be not a maker of shoes or a shaper of shafts unless they are for yourself. If the shoe is ill-shaped or the shaft is not straight, they will, issue it, they will wish you ill. Stanza 127. I give you read, Lofafnir, heed it well. You will use it if you learn it. It will get you good if you understand it. If you know that someone is evil, say so. Never give friendship to your enemies. Stanza 128. I give you read, Lofafnir, heed it well. You will use it if you learn it, and it will get you good if you understand it. Never rejoice in free evil, but always do good. Stanza 129. I give you read, Lofafnir, Lofafnir, heed it well. You will use it if you learn it, and it will get you good if you understand it. Do not look up in battle. Sons of men become like hogs when warriors enchant you. Stanza 130. I give you read, Lofafnir, heed it well. You will, lose it. you will use it if you learn it, and it will do you good if you understand it. If you want a good woman, speak pleasure runes to her. Pledge your troth and hold fast to it if you want joy from her. None loathes good if she gets it. Stanza 131. I give you read, Lothafnir, heed it well. You will use it if you learn it, and it will do you good if you understand it. Watch yourself, but don't be overcautious. Be especially wary of ale and of another man's wife. Thirdly, see that you are not tricked by conmen. Stanza 132. 
I give you read, Lord Fafnir. Heed it well. You will use it if you learn it. It will get you good if you understand it. Never make sport of guests and travelers. Stanza 133. Often those who sit inside do not know the kin of those who have, who have arrived. No man is so good that he has no faults, none so evil that he is not worthy in some way. Stanza 134. I give you read, Lofafnir, heed it well. You will use it if you learn it. It will get you good if you understand it. Never laugh at the hoary sage. The old often speak wisely and clearly. Wise speech oft comes from the dried skins that hangs with the hides, dangling with the furs and swinging among the bushes. Stanza 135. I give you read, Lofafnir, heed it well. You will use it if you learn it. It will get you good if you understand it. Do not abuse a guest or drive him out the door. Instead, do well for the wretched. Stanza 136. The beam must be sturdy that is unbarred. For all who ride up, deal out rings or he will wish you all sorts of trouble. Stanza 137. I give you read, Lord Fafnir. Heed it well. You will use it if you learn it. It will get you good if you understand it. When you drink ale, call on the main of the earth, for earth is good against ale, but fire against diseases. Oak is good against costiveness, grain against wizardry, bearded rye against feuds. They say the moon is good against hate, alum used for rabies and runes against evil. The earth draws off floods. Stanza 138. I know that I hung on a windset tree for all of nine nights. Wounded by spear and given to Odin, myself to myself, on that tree of which no man knows from what root it rises. Stanza 139. They dealt me no bread nor drinking horn. I looked down. I drew up the runes. Screaming, I took them up and fell back from there. Stanza 140. Fimble spells I got from the famous son of Bolthor, the father of Besla. I had a drink of the deer mead that was drawn from the Othrarir. Stanza 141. Then I began to grow and waxed well in wisdom. One word led me to another. One work led me to another. Stanza 142. You will find runes, meaningful staves, very powerful staves, very strong staves, that thimble died, that the Gendrigan shaped, that the gods rocked carved. Stanza 143. Odin among the Aesir, but Dane for the elves, the Valen for the dwarves, Osvit for the Etans, I carved some myself. Stanza 144. Know how to carve them? Know how to read them, know how to stain them, know how to wield them, know how to ask them, know how to bloody them, know how to send them, know how to sacrifice them. Stanza 145. It is better not to ask than to sacrifice too much. A gift always looks for a gift. It is be better unsent than over-sacrifice, so Thund carved from the doom of mankind. He rose up and came back after that. Stanza 146. I know those magical songs not known by the wives of kings or any human. One is called help and will help you in all sickness, sorrow, and affliction. Stanza 147. I know another that is needed by the sons of men who want to be leeches. Stanza 148. I know a third for the event, that I should be in dire need of fettering a foe. I can dull the blades of my attackers so that they can strike by neither weapon or wile. Stanza 149. I know a fourth, so that if, if it bonds and binds my limbs, I can get free. Fetters spring from my feet and bonds from my hand. Stanza 150. I know a fifth. If a foe shoots a shaft into the host, it cannot fly so fast that I cannot stop it if I catch sight of it. 
stanza 151. I know a sixth. If some thane attacks me with the wood of a young root, he who says he hates me will get hurt, but I will be unharmed. Stanza 152. I know a seventh. If I see a fire high on the hall around my bench companions, I can help them by singing the spell. Stanza 153. I know an eighth. It is useful for all who know it. Whenever hatred flares up amongst warrior sons, I am able to quell it. Stanza 154. I know a ninth. If need arises to save my ship on the flood, I can still the wind and calm the waves to put the entire sea to sleep. Stanza 155. I know a tenth. If I see ghost riders sporting in the sky, I can work it that the wild ones fare away, so their shapes shall fare home, so the spirits fare home. Stanza 156. I know an eleventh. If I lead old friends into the fray, I sing under the shield, and they fare into battle mighty and whole. They fare from the battle hole. They are whole wherever they go. Stanza 157. I know a twelfth. If I see a hangman swinging high in a tree, I can carve and stain runes so that the man walks and speaks with me. Stanza 158. I know a thirteenth. If, a young, if I sprinkle a young thane with water, he will not fall, though he goes to battle. He will not be cut down by swords. Stanza 159. I know a fourteenth. If I talk of the gods before the folk, I can speak of aces and elves. Few of the unlearned know these things. Stanza 160. I know a fifteenth with Srodra, the dwarf sang before Delling's door. He sang might to the Aesir, power to the elves, and understanding to Odin. Stanza 116. I know a sixteenth. If I want the heart and pleasure of a winsome lass, I turn the mind of a white-armed lady to me and went to bed with her. Stanza 162. I know a seventeenth to keep her from shirking me from any other man. Mind this, Lodfafnir. Long will you lack it, but it will let you good once you learn it. It will be useful to you when you understand it, and needful if known. Stanza 163. I know an eighteenth that none know, neither maid nor man's wife. It is always better kept secret except to the one who lies in my arms or my sister. Standing Stanza 164. Now are Har's saying said in Har's hall, needful for the sons of men, unneeded by Etten's sons. Hail the one who speaks them. Hail the one who knows them. Useful to he who gets them. Hail to those who heed them. And I just want to thank you guys for taking the time to listen to this uh, little slice of what it is to honor the gods and, 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 and our people, especially for those of us in Raven Temple of CX Wicca. And we're going to be doing some other things. We've got some other, uh, you know, video presentations that are going to come up that are going to be specifically tailored for the people since we can't get together because of COVID and things like that. So we're going to do more of this. If you like this, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, you can uh, check us out on our group page on Facebook. And also, to help keep this, uh, keep this going, um, check out the uh, notes in the description. And possibly support the channel on Patreon. we got readings. We have Discord. Uh, we've got giveaways. We've got all kinds of stuff. So if you would like to help us to expand the channel and to make things better, we really appreciate it. Uh, this has uh, been a great time to do this. And as I say this, blessings of the old gods to you all. And I will see you in the next video.